Hello Ethical Hackers, today I will give you my review after doing the course Attacking and Defending Active Directory from Pentester Academy. It's going to be a detailed one, so let's get started. The course is for everyone who wants to learn the well-known techniques of attacking Active Directory and it also approaches ways to defend it. Active Directory is a well-known technology used by Microsoft to manage a corporate environment and if you know how to hack it and defend it, you will add a great value to your skill set. And I think that this course is an introductory level to this subject and allows you to grasp the basics. It comes with a huge package of videos which go in detail and explain everything. The author is Nikhil Mittal, who is a hacker and a security researcher. But what's more important is that this course comes with a Red Team Lab, which is this one. And it's comprised of an Active Directory that has two forests. So that way you also learn how to abuse cross forest trust. I didn't want to do it at first, but then because the purchase price was low, I decided to give it a try. So I chose 30 days, which costs around 150 bucks. And if you are already familiar with some basics of Active Directory, or even if you are um, a junior penetration tester, I think the 30 days is enough for you. I was able to completely do the lab and the videos in just half of that duration, like in two weeks, with a full-time job in parallel. So I think it should be fairly straightforward and doable in 30 days. Once you buy the package that you want, you get an email which gives you access to the portal where you have your dashboard. And before landing on this page, they ask you what is the region that is the closest to you in order to spin the lab with the, the minimum latency so that you have a better experience attacking the lab. Pentester Academy provides two ways to connect to the lab. The first one is a web-based interface using Guacamole. So you can copy your, the lab URL and it's fairly straightforward. You enter your credentials and you land on your desktop. That is this machine right here, which is part of the child domain and contains a bunch of servers and machines that you can hack. Now, I'm not really fun of this way of connecting to the lab, although it's pretty straightforward. I like to use the VPN. So Pentester Academy provides also a way to connect using VPN. So what you can do is download the VPN config file. Once you get that, um, I found that it doesn't work on OpenVPN in Mac. So what I did is install TunnelBlick and here I can add my configuration and then just drag and drop the OVPN file. Hit OK, OK, and it should be added here as an entry. So I just renamed it and then let's try to connect. It asks me for the username and password. One thing to note is that if you open the VPN and the web interface, it won't work. You should only use one access. So once the VPN is up, I have the IP address of my machine, which I can use to connect to my box through the VPN. I'm using Microsoft Remote Desktop application on Mac, but you can use the Remote Desktop on Windows as well. Because I already created the machine, I can edit it, and add a user account. This is where I can enter the username and password that I have from the portal. I've already done that, so just double click and you should land on the same machine, but this time using your VPN. In addition to this, you get also an access to a OneDrive directory, which contains the tools that are used in the course the old slides and the videos. 
You also have the lab manual, which goes through the lab and how you can achieve all the learning objectives that are announced throughout the course. So I'm not going to go deep in the content material, but just rest assured that um, you are really provided with exhaustive information and data that allows you to go through the course. The things I liked about this course and the lab is that you have stable access to your lab and most of the time it the attacks work 100%. You don't need to reboot any machines. You don't have the, the right to reboot a machine in the shared lab, but I've not got into any trouble replicating the attacks that I've learned throughout the course. I liked the fact that it goes in details into explaining how to approach attacking Active Directory from enumeration until persistence and cross-trust attacks. But it also talks about how to defend against those attacks, which I think is pretty cool. I also found that the support is really responsive, provided that you land on their business hours, which is roughly Indian time from 9 a.m. to 10 p.m., I guess. So if you send an email at that time frame, you get an instant, almost instant response. But I found that sometimes the support might not understand what you're saying. For example, I had an, a problem replicating an attack, the last attack in the lab, which needed to reconfigure my student machine. But once they've done that, the attack didn't work. So when I explained the problem, they told me, well, we can't really affect you to another domain in order to execute that attack for the time being. So just make sure that you understand the theory behind this attack and then go on. So I found that this was a really um, bad response from the support which is supposed to support you during the lab. But other than that, they answered pretty much all my questions almost instantly. What I didn't really appreciate in this course is the lack of a forum dedicated for the course. I'm not sure, maybe there is a forum, but you need to pay a membership for that. I think you need to opt for the member access, which I didn't. So I think it would be better if you have a forum where you can interact with students and learn from each other, rather than just being zoned in the lab yourself. But provided that they have an exhaustive course with videos that explain pretty much everything, I think it was not really a big, a big deal not to have a forum. Another thing which I didn't appreciate in the course is the flag verification system, which contained some questions about learning objectives, but they were pretty vague. Some of them I couldn't even understand, let alone know how to answer them. And sometimes you send a answer, but the system tells you that it's not correct. And then you send it another time, then it becomes correct. So I think that the flag verification system for this course could, could have been better with specific questions and maybe a flag that should be quite clear to spot, like a known pattern. But other than that, I think that the course is perfect for anyone who wants to begin to learn how to attack and defend Active Directory. In order to take full advantage of this course, you need to do some crucial things. The first one is to take exhaustive and structural notes, because not only that will help you in your exam, but it will also help you in the long run. If you want to revise attacks, if you want to build your own methodology, then the course provides you with really structured videos. So take that structured content and put it in your own way to really grasp and acquire the knowledge that you need. The notes should also contain all the snippets that are used throughout the course so that when you want to hack a real Active Directory, you just uh, visit your snippets and then copy paste with minimal changes. 
Another thing that you should do is save all the tools that you've used throughout the course. The machine comes with a tools directory, which contains all the tools that you need. But during the exam, the attacking machine that you are provided with doesn't contain any tools. So you have to save your tools that you've used throughout the course and maybe copy them over when you start the exam. Another thing that it's encouraged in the videos by the instructor is to try other things, to try your own techniques on the lab. Don't limit yourself to the material provided to you in the course because it seems like they really spoon feed you. So try to take a step backward and look at the big picture. Try to attack the lab using a C2 framework like Empire or Covenant or there are many other C2 infrastructures that you can deploy and use in the course. So take full advantage of it. If you want to spin just half or even a tiny portion of the lab locally, you will have a hard time replicating all the things you need in order to experiment with the command and control framework. So take full advantage of the lab and experiment with all the things that you could experiment with. And regarding the exam, I'm happy to announce that I successfully passed it. And based on my experience, I have two things to tell you about it. The first thing is that you no longer need to schedule your exam. You can directly launch your exam using just a button in the dashboard that I showed you earlier and your exam will start. Just make sure to start it in business hours of Indian time. That way, if you have a problem at the beginning of the exam, you would have the support to reply to your question as soon as possible. Otherwise, you'd have to wait for several hours. The second thing is to experiment with in-depth usage of Mimikads. Don't just run invoke Mimikads and wait for NTLM hashes. Always look for other types of credentials. With that said, I still hit the wall for about eight to nine hours or maybe more because I was overthinking one step. So don't overcomplicate things. Just try to use the things that you have so far, that you found so far, and think how you could leverage them to gain more access to the system during the exam. So hopefully this gave you an idea about this uh, course. I highly recommend anyone who's barely starting in Active Directory to try it. Its course is comprehensive and its lab is really good to work on and apply your knowledge. Let me know for those who are following the course or have done the exam and are now certified Red Team professionals, tell me what were your thoughts about the course and the exam? And also leave your comments for new people who want to experiment and learn in the course. Thank you. If you found this content helpful, make sure to like, comment and subscribe to this channel so that you get updates whenever I publish a new video on ethical hacking and bug bounty hunting. If you're new to hacking and want to learn the basics, Check out the free OWASP Top 10 Theory and Hands-on training on thehackerish.com and apply your knowledge on the lab which supports it. If you enjoy learning with videos, I invite you to watch the OWASP Top 10 YouTube playlist. However, I encourage you to first try to solve the lab exercises so that you don't spoil them. Don't forget that there are supporting blog posts for most of the videos you watch on this YouTube channel. I also encourage you to subscribe to the Friday newsletter on thehackerish.com to gain some new hacking knowledge at the end of the week. If you enjoy listening while doing other things at the same time, check out the Hack for Fun and Profit podcast, link in the description box. Until next time, stay curious, keep learning, and go find some bugs.